Hello, guys. Hello, hello, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to the 50 Founders Battle Round 5. The very last round, and then we're done with the 50 Founders. We've had four, four rounds already. They have been funny, serious, interesting, and also sometimes boring, but they have been all cool to look at. So this is the last round. The rules are very simple. We have founders on the stage. They will get three minutes, three minutes each, and no questions from the jury. We also have a jury. And in the jury we have, and I will call your name and please stand up, Sanna Westerman, Creandum. Give her a big applause. Richard Allen Horning, Reed Smith. Ivar Seymour, Estonian Business Angels Network. Donatas Keras, Practical Capital. And Emmett King, J12. So guys who are going to pitch, these are the people you're going to pitch to win the 10,000 euros with no strings attached. How cool is that? And without further ado, I invite the very first competitor, contestant on the stage. It's called Hack Motion, and they come from Latvia. Give them a big applause. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janis, and this is a copy of me. Motion capture technology used to be a toy for rich Hollywood studios. Now we are at dawn of using it in consumer devices. By adding a digital layer to your movements, you can do amazing things, like controlling slides, for example. But this is not all. There are more interesting use cases. Sports is an excellent example. And this is where hack motion comes in. We build affordable, wearable motion capture devices that provide instant coaching feedback. We have tested our tech in many very really extreme and fun use cases like snowboarding, skydiving, horseback riding, and even have brought to the market the product for sports target shooting by bootstrapping. But we wanted a customer who is extremely competitive has many rivals and deep pockets. And golfer it is. There are 80 million golf players around the world, thus making it one of the most popular sports. But consumer opinions are influenced by pros, so we needed to win them over first. And so we devised a brutal cold email strategy and attacked golf coaches all around the world. Pros from 20 countries agreed to video interviews in which they confessed that the wrist angle during the golf swing is very important, hard to teach, and they lack tools to effectively measure that. So we designed a device that does actually this and offered them a 50% discount if they pre-ordered it early. And they, were so, they saw so much value in that that one third of them were ready to pay $500 to pay for the device which was not even started to be manufactured. And we get very excited and compiled a list of 10,000 more golf coaches, which are go we are starting to address this month. And after we get solid ground in the golf coaching market, we are going after consumers, 80 million people around the world. Our business model is selling hardware and subscription fee for advanced features of software. And we expect to become cash flow positive in the second quarter of this year. We have a Golf Pro and uh, technology, um, um, Golf Pro and Tech PhD, and also business uh, uh, background people on the team. And we have two accelerators under our belt. Uh, we kindly invite you to, become, to, to come to our booth uh, tomorrow to play some golf, have some fun, and talk about fundraising, which we are starting on the second quarter of this year. I am Yanis from Hack Motion, and golf is only the beginning. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next up 
a Soda Pro from UK. Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Hart. I'm a mechanical engineer and I've worked my whole career in the heavy industry. I started Soda Analytics to diagnose and coach workers to avoid the number one injury problem in industrial workplaces. So what is the number one problem? It's musculoskeletal injuries. These are your back and muscle injuries, and they're happening often. Each time they happen, $150,000 cost to our customer. One of our customers spends $70 million every year on this problem. In the EU, America, and back in Australia, we spend $140 billion on this every year. It's a huge problem. And why is it a big problem? Because when it happens, a lot of complexity comes to our customer. You can see what happens when someone gets injured. It's a complete pain in the ass. But the second problem is that it's actually a really hard problem to solve. The current way of solving it is observers come, they watch workers, and then they try to coach these workers on how to be better. It's not very scalable, it's not easy to quantify, and it's not a very good solution. So our solution is different. We have a wearable sensor, which is tracking every time the worker is bending, twisting, or putting a force on their upper body. This data is then fed to our digital health coach. So this coach diagnoses the worker, and over four weeks, takes the user or the, the worker through a coaching program to reduce their risk. We've now had 250 people use this, and we reduce the risk by between 50 and 70%. So it's very effective, and it's very scalable. Our revenue last year, $105,000. We have two big customers in Australia and one in the UK. And we have four trials over the next four months. But we also have this huge pipeline of some of the biggest industrial names in the business just waiting for our solution to be ready. So towards the end of this year, we start scaling our solution to these people. We've also won $156,000 worth of grants last year, which gives us extra validation that we're solving the real problem. Um, our team, so Alexia and myself, we're co-founders, we complement each other. He's on the tech side, he's exited two startups already. And myself, I'm an engineer, I worked in the industry, have an MBA, and we've gone through the Startup Wise Guys program last year. Uh, this is our team as well, so we're a very strong technical team, we're starting to build the sales team as well. So, we're fundraising, we're getting ready to scale our product to our big pipeline. We're raising 500,000, we've closed 200 of this already. And thank you very much. My name was Matthew Hart from Soto Analytics. <clears throat> thank you. The next team up is Wide from Latvia. Paulina is a Paralympic fencer and she's bound to her wheelchair. Two years ago, she needed to make a new back brace, and uh, she wanted to take part in the Rio Paralympic Games. She came to us for help because the traditional orthotic center could not make the brace that she needed. Since then, we have made our own proprietary software. We have delivered many 3D printed parts to orthotic and prosthetic workshops around the globe. Having visited some of those workshops, we have seen firsthand that they still use plaster molds they still use old school technology and labor intensive processes. Things haven't changed for hundreds of years in these centers. This is why World Health Organization is warning us that there is a lack of about 40,000 industry professionals. That means 70 million people will not get a device that they need. Prosthetic centers understand that employing modern technology uh, could help them but they're, they're reluctant to change. And this is because the change is costly and it takes a lot of time. This is exactly why we have created Wide Network. Wide Network is the first ever virtual prosthetics and orthotics manufacturing center. We add a digital layer to cover the manual processes, but we don't change how the prosthetics center works. We actually empower the prosthetic center to access digital potential and this is all at no upfront investment. The three main benefits that any center using our platform gets is 24-hour access to online order platform with many assistive devices. 
They get access to a network of certified professionals and to a network of industrial equipment for reliable and fast production. But the biggest benefit of all goes to the patient who is now able to choose from various compelling designs that are impossible conventionally. Our business model is simple, and we charge for every device that we have made, but we only charge the prosthetic center once they have a paying customer. The team was put together by two co-founders that started working together in 2010. They have inspired the team to believe in one simple thing, that we will someday bring everyone in need uh, a prosthetic that is functional, beautiful. And the best part, we can do it already today. You need a 3D prosthetic, send us a scan. Still rolling old school, send us over the plaster mold. Uh, but to make a truly global impact, we're looking for people who will help us with marketing and sales and uh, compliance law. We have just started raising 300,000 investment round to take our global network beyond the MVP. My name is Janis, and at White we have made prosthetic production fast and simple. Thank you very much. <laughs>
So we are solving this with the help of 3D printing by creating 3D printed casts that are lightweight, waterproof, ventilating, and custom made for each patient. But more importantly, we have developed a solution that is fully integrated into the existing hospital treatment processes. Thanks to our cutting edge technology, we have developed an easy to use four step process to be integrated in any given clinic without disrupting the current workflow of both doctors and patients alike. And because of this, we can save up to 15% of hospital costs just on fractured patients alone. So that roughly translates for a typical public hospital of savings more than 150,000 euros annually of taxpayers' money. Now, these are not just words. We are already validating our solution in three private clinics and two public hospitals here in the Baltics. We are also working closely with the medical and regulatory regulator to medically validate our solution. And we have already our first paid customers. So we charge hospitals an annual subscription fee, plus a transaction fee for each produced cast. We are targeting the global casting market, and we are initially concentrating on the top 100 hospitals in the Nordic and Baltic region, where over 300,000 fractures occur annually. So this is only possible because of our team. Our team of specialists in healthcare, business, and technology. Our medical advisor, Datsu Walling, has been the managing director of Roche Finland and Roche Baltics, to name a few. So we at Casper envision that this is the past and this is the future. Lightweight, waterproof, ventilating, and custom made. So we are the first 3D printed cast solution fully integrated into hospitals. We are already working both private and public hospitals. And we have the team to finally introduce this to the mainstream healthcare. We will be raising a seed round in the following months. So if you'd like to know more about our solution, or you're as frustrated about plaster casts as we are, please reach out to us. My name is Sigvart, and I'm from Casprin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love the energy people have. And now, Give a big applause for Ingenium from Latvia. Think back to your time at school. Who was your favorite teacher? Mine was my high school physics teacher. She was strict, but she also worked with me individually and helped me with my scientific research project. Thanks to the courage and knowledge she gave me, with this individual approach, I was able to pursue a degree in physics, and that made me the man I am today. Unfortunately, most teachers today don't have the time to engage their students one-on-one -on -one or work with or create engaging lessons. And this lack of time investment makes the education level suffer. Teachers spend up to 12 hours a week creating and grading tests. That is because, unlike many aspects of secondary education, test creation and grading has not been successfully modernized. Teachers using these outdated methods must create 15 tests each month. On top of that, each test must be created in multiple variations, and afterwards, it must be graded. Therefore, we created Ingenium, a software tool that allows teachers to quickly and easily create, edit, and share high-quality tests. Ingenium has a vast curated database created by Latvia's best teachers. It will also be able to be crowdsourced once we launch the product. Other digital testing solutions exist, but they are outdated and inefficient. Our proprietary algorithm creates a new test and task variation each time, and our machine learning algorithm will be able to use the existing database to create brand new tests and tasks. Our team consists of current and former educators. Dainis is in charge of the educational content, Tuoms is responsible for sales and marketing, and I am Jaseps, and I am the lead developer and team leader on the project. We have successfully developed a working prototype and are currently testing it with Latvia's teachers. 
we are also offering pre-orders for 40 euros per academic year per teacher. So join us and help us empower the teachers to inspire uh, students. Thank you. Fejo from Latvia. Hello, my name is Laoma, and I'm the co-founder of Solfeggio, and we make learning music as exciting as listening to it. For 10 years, I was working as a music teacher, and children in school didn't like learning music theory. However, their eyes were sparkling when we were playing their favorite songs together. But to build a 30 children rock band, it takes a lot of teachers' time and nerves for finding the songs, preparing the materials, and teaching the basics of each instrument. That's why online music teacher forums are full of requests for help. Solfeggio is the first software that makes it easy to play popular music in schools. The whole class can play together and feel like rock stars. This is how it looks like in the class. From a boring subject, music suddenly becomes interesting, challenging, and exciting. In its essence, it's an audio player that shows what's going on in the song. You have melody, chords, and rhythm together with an amazing sound that is displayed to students in real time. And there's some amazing sound just right there. We just don't hear it. That's OK. Let's imagine the amazing sound. Thank you. Uh, Solfeggio increases the interest to learn music by 70%, speed up the learning process twice, and saves 10 hours of teacher's time per week. We target schools who pay us 5 euros per student per year, and the starting price is 250 euros. In just five months, we have managed to collect 30 paying schools and more than 200 trial schools in Western Europe, in the UK, in the USA, and in Asia. And if we're speaking about market, the size of the market is 250 million in the USA and Western Europe alone. Our team combines music education, business, and technology. I'm a music producer and teacher. Tuoms is an entrepreneur and product designer, and Guntis is a full-stack software developer. This year, we have been nominated as one of the top 10 education startups globally by one of the leading education events in the USA, and we're heading there in March. And our next step is to raise a 250K seed investment for increasing our sales in Scandinavia and the USA. We are Solfeggio and we make learning music as exciting as listening to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the next one up is Oao from UK. Please, come on the stage. Hi, everyone. My name is Aldas. I am CEO of Oao Technologies. There were more than 120 million of wearable devices sold last year. Unfortunately, swimmers can't use all benefits of these devices, unlike other sports lovers. Do you know why? Because the vast majority of these devices are wristwear, which is, and you are not about to catch any info from your moving arm while you are swimming. Moreover, your swimming goggles tend to become foggy, which reduces visibility. That sucks, doesn't it? But we found a solution. This is of our virtual training assistant, which can be attached to any swimming goggles, and not only to swimming goggles, as you can see. Uh, it provides real-time feedback for swimmers in the most intuitive and the least disturbing way using color-coded signals and single-tone beeper sounds. How it works? Before starting your training session, just select and upload a training program from our app. 
Then attach the device to your favorite swimming goggles and follow instructions that are instantly being provided by a virtual coach. While after your workout, you can analyze your progress of most important swimming performance parameters. During an extensive survey that we have conducted with 400 swimmers, two out of three of them confirmed their willingness to purchase virtual coaching device. Moreover, we've got confirmation from media marked customers uh, that they're ready to pay more than 200 euros for our device. That's awesome, isn't it? We are targeting markets where swimming is among top five sports activities. There are more than 33 million of active swimmers in these markets, and 24% of them are currently using activity trackers amounting to a market value of half a billion dollars. And this is how we are going to get there. First pre-orders will be collected on Kickstarter, while after the market launch, we will be selling our device on the biggest e-tail platforms as well as on specialized sports and swimming stores. At the later stage, for a monthly subscription fee, we will be offering access to more advanced personalized training programs, which will be developed using machine learning algorithms. In our team, we have two brilliant biomedical engineers, Justinas and Marius, a programming genius, Mendogas, a marketing guru, Camille, and me, having more than 20 years of experience in sales and business management. After two years of development, we already have a production-ready prototype. We expect to launch to the market in less than six months after raising a seed round of 200,000 euros. Dive in with us and contribute to rising a new generation of Michael's Phelpses. Thank you. Thank you. And the next up and the last up on the stage is Collectly from Latvia. Hi, my name is Davis. I'm co-founder and CEO of Collectly. This is the typical sports fan. He might not be doing sport by himself, but he definitely loves to follow the latest achievements of his favorite team. But how to keep the fans updated all the time? If you are keen about sport, you may also know that sports market is huge on different sectors, and it's still at rapid development stage. Sports merchandise market will reach 48 billion mark by 2024, and uh, augmented reality will be a very big part of it. Uh, sports clubs and organizations have three main problems, but sorry, those are not problems anymore, those are challenges for us. They have limited financial and human resources, but the struggle for small and medium organizations, difficulties to monetize funds out of the game time, and low fun engagement, especially of younger audience. So, we made a solution which we are convinced can help to solve all previously mentioned problems in one mobile app and helps them to save money because they have no need to build their own solution, make money to monetize funds through the application, and increase funds engagement by low investments. So, Collectly is a 360 white label solution to keep their fans' attention out of the game time with adjustable and attractive design, live scores and statistics, latest news about team or league, fantasy engine integration, shop and sponsor promotion options, and also augmented reality sports cards. We have created a win-win business model, which is based on revenue share. The magic thing is that no one of our competitors have used business model like this so far. In the following year, our plans are to make at least 10 contracts uh, in European market. And now we are working with Latvian Hockey Federation to develop the official app for International Ice Hockey Championship 2018. Uh, there are competition in the market, but the main difference is that they offer those features separately, but not combined as one single solution. Collectly is the world's first solution which includes all of those monetizing and fun engagement features in one mobile app to make the best possible outcome for each organization. This is the roadmap which we created on uh, November of 2017. So far, milestones are kept, and we are working regarding to the plan. 
Of course, behind every great idea, there is a team of bright minds. We have a small and diverse of knowledge team. To ensure our goal and develop first-class project, uh, we are looking for new intelligence mind of the team, representatives of the product outside of Europe, and financial support to develop extra features of the product. Sports market has huge growth potential in the following years, and sports investors are getting more involved in startup community. Okay, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really hope that in this patch I wouldn't have to cut anybody off, but we cannot do any special treatment. Three minutes is three minutes. So, how did you like it, jury? I think this was, this was pretty awesome, because I saw ideas and pitches where I never thought there would, could be a business opportunity there. We had cleaning bots or robots in previous patches and, and 3D printed casks. How awesome is that? Like breathable water, fruit, whatever. Like, this is really great. So this was 50 founders on the stage, 150 minutes in total. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, they were competing for, um, or they are still competing for 10K uh, with money, for money, no, with no strings attached. And uh, this was it for this part of the um, program.